everyone, it's Michelle. And Harmony. And, and we're back. Yay! After nearly a year of being away. Both yeah. been so busy. But we just want to say thank you so much for, um, I don't know if you've seen our video on the light skin, dark skin debate. debate. Obviously a very big issue yeah. in the black community. <laughs> and um, yeah, we made a video on that. Got quite a lot of views, quite a good few good responses, some negative responses. Thank you for all your comments. Yeah. Thank you for everything. Even the negative comments. Yeah, even the negative comments. I mean, we actually had people going back and forth underneath the video, like... Yeah, but, fighting. Yeah, the one thing we won't, yeah. you know, any comment that was too, too, too far, like yeah. racist comments or, you know, really comments that could really sort of upset people, they're automatically spammed and flagged. Yeah, exactly. Uh, flagged you know, we got some YouTube. really nice comments such as you've now sort of inspired me to accept my dark skin. Yeah, oh my gosh. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, just a week so, ago, yeah. because even though we posted the video like several months ago now, almost a year ago, a year ago people are still, well, it's now at 30,000 views, slightly over, and people will, we'll link it in the description bar de below, and uh, people are still watching and, and, and still posting comments, which is absolutely incredible. And the other day, we, we did get, um, a comment from a girl and she was like um you know i used to hate my dark skin but watching the two of you discuss this has and, made me embrace it yeah has made and me and i was like go girl yeah I love it. That, that's it that's what makes it worth it that's better yeah, than any comment exactly moving on today we're here to discuss relationships boys girls boy drama whatever yeah. you want to call it like relationships and why are sometimes better off out of relationships exactly, as well like, the, like... I, I, I'm single so I don't know if I'm just coming from a bitter single place but like <laughs> I have <laughs> never honestly I haven't been happier than I am now in probably about five or so years just because I'm really really focusing on me I'm really uh, working on myself as a person before I let anyone else become a part of who I am yeah I'm really uh, going after my goals harder and faster and more determinedly more driven more focused before. on you because yeah because you're in a relationship be. you give because a part you of be. yourself exactly but um, anyway so sort of the issues we're going to be discussing today are five signs you should stay the, the hell, hell away, away from a guy <laughs> like these are just yeah. the warning signs literally if any if you enter a sort of relationship or whatever like seeing someone and you fancy yeah. him he fancies you and he displays any of these signs going and right. he displays any of the five signs we're going to go through, then you just need to, I don't care if like, this is the love of your life, yeah. you just need to let it go. Yeah, yeah. The love of your life. You just need to yeah. let it go and run as fast as you can for the hills. Yep, run for okay. the hills. Okay, so. Okay, point number one. <laughs> um, if, uh, obviously, online dating is on the rise now. I don't know how many of you watching this video Though I assume it'll be quite a lot of you watching this video because actually the show I speak of is currently in the process of filming for its second season, so it has been renewed. But Catfish on MTV. If you are someone who is into online dating, or you're not someone who's into online dating, but you happen to have met a guy and you get talking to this guy online, exchange numbers, whatever it is, iMessage, WhatsApp, BBM, don't know what anymore. Um, and you're talking, 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 things are going great, you seem to be clicking, you've heard his voice on the phone, so you know it's a guy as opposed to a 12-year-old boy messing about. But he gets really, really funny about coming on Skype to you or he gets really, really funny about sending you pictures and anytime he sends you a picture, it's one you've either one seen before on a Facebook account that looks dodgy or two, you know, a picture that he, you know, is clearly old, you know, me in Africa yeah. rather than me just right now as I talk to you. Be Basically, the hell suspicious. If he's reluctant to do it or if he won't do it and it's been a substantial period of time, every time he's got an excuse, I'm going to work, just I'm, you know, I'm rushing, my friend's just got here, no, I'm on the phone with my boss, I'm whatever, like every time he has an excuse, then you should be very suspicious and very concerned. Exactly. I mean, you know, I, I remember watching this Catfish episode that literally it was, I wanted to throw the remote control at the TV because <laughs> through past, the TV. past, no, past feeling genuine sympathy and empathy, well not empathy because I've never got myself in these kind of situations, past feeling genuine sympathy and somewhat empathy for these people, they're really, they're, there comes an emotion of exasperation of, oh my gosh, like, what are you doing? This woman that I'm watching, and she's literally in her 20s, right? She has been talking to a guy for over 10 years. Okay, 10 years is too long a time to be dating this guy and she had never ever ever seen him on Skype. Do you not value your time? It's like how are you That's my first question. Exactly. That's my first question. Do you not value your time to be just talking to a guy who he could be a fake because he's not 
Do you know what I mean? He's refusing to. He's to refusing to show himself. Do you not wonder why? Why he doesn't want to show his face? He ha- conveniently has pictures of him on the beach with his washboard abs, but he can't bring his face on the camera for one second. That's exactly. What is he hiding? Exactly. He's either lied to you or he just doesn't give a shit. I don't know what it is, but either, either way, way, you should not be investing be in your time. And this whole thing about he told me he didn't this. have a cam. Who in today's who world have cam in doesn't? Yeah. Who doesn't have a cam in 2013? In 2003, okay, yeah, back then, obviously, laptops were kind of, you know, dodgy, scarce, yeah, with the yeah. Well, webcams hadn't been installed on laptops back then at all, actually. But, you know, even then, he could have taken a picture and emailed it to you. I always say, like, even if someone tries that whole thing of, oh, I don't have a webcam, I don't have an iPhone, so I can't FaceTime, okay, take a picture of you holding up a sign saying, holding today's newspaper, holding today's newspaper, or take a picture of you holding up a sign saying, hey, Michelle, my name's Michelle, or hey, Harmony, yeah. how's it going, love, Dan, XX. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? Like, these are all things everyone has access to a camera. Their phone will have a camera even if they can't FaceTime using that camera. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? So like, if their laptop doesn't have a welcome, they'll have a digital if camera. If a guy will not so, show his face, either he doesn't care to show his face or he's hiding something. If a guy cannot prove that he's who he says he is, stay the stay hell away, away from stay him. Stay away. Because, of course, when this woman met the man, it was who she said he is. He was. But, like, um. But he had issues. Yeah, he, he had. Go into yeah, he really had. Into it, but. It's not mental issues we're talking about. We're talking about other issues. Yeah. He had issues as to why he was hiding himself. Exactly. As she should have suspected, she was just lying to herself. She just wasn't keeping it 100%. 100% okay. Real. Exactly. So, so another. Folks, you don't want to be catfished. Um, yeah, you don't want to be catfished. Exactly. I like that. Yeah, you don't want to be catfished. Okay. So, coming on to our next point is lust versus love and fancy versus like and yeah coming on to that point so basically when a guy you know approaches you or whatever and you know he's pursuing you or whatever I feel like a lot of the time especially because guys are so visual because they value appearance more highly than girls I'm not saying they value it above personality but they value it as a higher priority in a relationship or whatever than girls do okay so a lot of the time you'll get you'll get a guy and he'll fancy you at first right he approaches you because he fancies you he admires the way you look but then hopefully from there you go into, oh, this guy actually likes me. As in, you know, likes the fact that I'm sweet, I'm caring, I'm bubbly, I'm happy, whatever. He likes your personality. But sometimes this isn't the case. Sometimes you just get a guy who fancies a girl and, you know, they've had a lot of time to sort of talk and whatnot and it just so turns out that there's no click there. There's nothing for them to actually pursue. But then the guy will continue to pursue solely because he has a strong attraction to this girl and he will keep and keep on and keep on pursuing. And I feel like this is so shallow and actually it's so worrying. First of all, just because a guy continually pursues you when you're rejecting him does not mean that I care about this girl so much. It means I'm a player who's used to getting my way and she's I cannot accept the fact that she's rejecting me. This is what it could mean. It could, of course, mean that he genuinely likes you. But in a lot of cases where the guy's a player, it's because he cannot accept the rejection. It hurts him. It hurts his ego that he hasn't managed to convince you. And so then, if you get with this guy, it ends up of, it's, as a thing of the relationship, it's lust. It's not love. And a reason why we think this is dangerous is because mm-hmm. lust will not last. It's I don't fleeting. Know if you want to expand lust that is that... I always say, like, you know, you're them times when you're out and about and it's been a busy day and it's a hot day and you just feel like treating yourself. You Love go to McDonald's and bar. you get that, yeah, you go to McDonald's and you get that cheeseburger or you get that hamburger or that double, but you know, whatever. And the McFlurry. Yeah, yeah. And the McFlurry. <laughs> that first bite will always be nicer than every subsequent bite right. following. Right. So for me, when a guy is with you purely because of lust versus love or it fancy will burn out. versus genuine, like, it will burn out because even though you're still that fat juicy nice hamburger that they've been craving all day at the end of the day that first bite is still always going to be better than all the subsequent occasions exactly. that they get to do and that. this comes along with the first time they see it with you because they'll be like oh my god yes like finally the girl who yeah. i fancy Sense so much the girl who i want so much not because i care about her because i'm you know damn well sexually attracted to her they you know they see with you that sense of achievement but then you know what happens when another girl who they find as attractive than you or <laughs> in a worst case scenario more attractive than you well in a case where this relationship had been genuine the guy would think well you know i'm not going to really want to ruin what i have with stacy mm. because i really care about stacy stacy's a great girl i don't meet many girls like her there's a connection she's beautiful this girl is hot too but hey it's not worth what i have but if what you have with him is purely attraction and he's more attracted to the other girl, well, then what's to stop him? Why should it stop him? Exactly. There's nothing... It's not going no, Why should it hold him back it's if he finds him more attractive? Because the only reason he's with you is he finds you attractive. And that's why I will never put myself in that position. And I know we both 
both been faced with this. I'm sure loads of girls out there have. I am never going to put myself in that position where I can be traded up. Someone else can be traded up for me because mm. I'm not going to be with someone who's solely attracted to me physically. That's just not enough for me. You won't be with someone who care about and who cares about you. Exactly. Like, we're not fine. We're just with with you. the girl who we find fancy in the playground. In the playground. Yeah, no. I think we're past that at this age. Exactly. And that, you know, just <laughs> once again yeah. moves on to a guy who's you know moving, moving to you, you moving you while moving seeing other people I see this who doesn't know time and time you know, again you meet a guy and you really really like him and you find out like he's got a girlfriend or he's just coming up something with this girl or, or he's sleeping you know whatever girl, and he's moving to you and you somehow manage to convince yourself that oh I don't know the relationship he might he told me he likes me more than he ever liked her which might be true or he told me he likes me way more than he liked her in the beginning which might very well be true but what makes yeah, too too many times girls think that they're the exception. They're special. You're not the exception. You're actually the rule. Do you get it? Too many times us girls want to believe we're the exception. Oh, he's cheating on every other girlfriend, but he's not going to cheat on me yeah. because he told me, and actually I have proof that he likes me more than all these. Yeah, totally. he might like you ten times as much as he liked any previous girl. But think about it this way: if he liked his previous girlfriend more than he liked any of the ones prior to her, then why did then, he cheat on her? Then why did he cheat on her? Because Look. surely when he cheated on that girl before he met you, he liked her more than he'd ever liked any other exactly. girl. Yeah, he cheated on her. So just because he now likes you more than he's liked any other girl, including her, because you're the new girl, that doesn't, that's not to say he's not going to cheat on we've you. We've all been faced with the, you know, the cheater dilemma. A guy, you know, who comes into our lives who's a cheater, as in, and when I say a cheater, I don't mean, there's a difference between a guy who has cheated and a cheater. So when I cheater. say a cheater, I mean someone who has cheated on practically every girlfriend they've had, someone who cheats regularly, someone who is in their nature to cheat. So we've all been faced with that drama of a cheater who then tells us that, I'm oh, but I, I would never cheat on you. I care about you so much. I like you more than I've liked any other girl. Yeah, but to me, that's not strong enough because mm. you would have been with another girl who you liked more than any other girl, but you didn't. that didn't stop you from cheating on her. So why... Am I any different? You know, I'd like to think that I could be the girl to change you and mm. I'm so amazing and you're so in love with me that you'd never do this. Well, but here's a question. But what if, what if I'm not? I can't lie to myself. What if I'm not? Exactly. What if I'm not? I could, on the off chance, be that girl who does change you, like in the, like in the storybooks, right? Like in the fairy tales. But what if I'm not? <laughs> Exactly. Then I get cheated on. Then I get made a fool out of. It's me being then. Her, then not you. I'm the one thinking I should have listened to my friends. I should have listened to my sister. I should have listened to my damn self. Got instinct. Because you knew. You knew. And so, when faced with a guy who wants to, you know, see other people while he's approaching you, when faced with a cheater, first of all, a guy should not be like, oh, I'm. If a guy really cares about you when he's approaching you, who his focus will be to get with you. He's not going to be focusing. He's not going to be dividing his attention between loads yeah, of different you girls. Yeah, you and loads of girls. He's going to be listen, 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 mate. You. I'm not. I'm not an option. I'm the option. Exactly. I'm not second That's best. It. No, no. I'm no, no. Honey, I'm listen. Not third. Seriously, I'm not an option. Exactly. I'm the option because I was recently faced with this dilemma. Is it a guy who, um, literally, like? there are few people in general that I've connected with as much as i connected with this guy and like, yeah. we always said even at the time that even if we'd met and had no attraction to one another or been with other people or just not being one another's types um, we would have gone on to become the best friends either one of us had ever, like some of the best friends either one of us had ever had if that makes sense so great was that connection so great and, uh, and, and genuine. strong genuine was that was that click now we have first say and it's magical it's amazing it's all the rest of it for the first couple of few dates he's coming to me and he's like oh you know, there's this girl that I just can I carry on seeing you, and then and then I'll make my mind How up. How about no? When, and then I make my mind up when you when you come, you know, when things are settled down with university and everything. Then I'll make my mind up, and I'm almost certain I'll choose you. But you know, now even though now some girls in my position, this is where people go wrong. Some girls in my position, in fact, a lot of you right now are watching this are probably thinking, okay, well he told you that it was just a sex thing with this girl that he likes you more and he likes you on more of a genuine level than this girl. Yeah. Um, you know, he's told you that he'll most probably pick you over this girl and have no reason to like especially if he's being so upfront as to tell you this in the first place most guys will just carry on with the other girl behind your back and then drop it on you you know so what's the problem let me tell you what the problem is the problem is that I am not sat here seeing a million and one other people I'm not sat here entertaining the notion of dating other guys that's not me saying oh we're exclusive or you know if I met Prince Charming tomorrow I'd shun him because I've had a couple of dates with you that's just me saying I'm not sat here you know with my head half in half out of whatever's going on here and entertaining other options so I'm damned if you are going to be sat there entertaining other options because who stands the news out who stands the news out if however many months down the line who's going to be hurt if however many months down the line you turn around and you're like oh Shelly actually you know I did like you more at the beginning I did generally think it was a sex thing with this other girl at the beginning but you know now however many months in I generally really really care for Lucy or whatever that wasn't her name um, and yeah I pick her who stands to lose? Exactly. Me. 
you know, and I said to him, so-and-so, you know, nearly said his name there. Like, even if you turn around and you're like, oh, see you, Lucy. I'm a human being. I'm going to feel bad for this girl. I'm not going to be happy just because I have you and I want to be with you. Exactly, I'm going to feel bad. Still be her. Exactly, I'm going to feel bad for the girl who's been sleeping with you for however long, investing feelings in you and obviously feelings, and then you're just kicking her to the curb for me. Like, you know, I have a conscience. It's not about being selfish here. And I so even if I came on top here, which I'm more likely to, I, someone, basically the only person here who stands to not lose, irregardless of the outcome, is you. Exactly. And why would I want to be in a situation like that? Listen, I'm not an option. I'm the option. You either want to be with me or you don't. Why am I going to do that? Shortly after that conversation with that, that guy, I deleted the number because, one, I couldn't believe. At the time, I wouldn't have been that strong. And even now, I know many girls who it's like, oh, yeah, you know, Michelle, obviously you've had a falling out, but I don't want to delete his number. And I'd be like, why? And they won't be able to answer. And I've answered for them. Exactly. You're afraid that he'll never get back to you. Well, great if he doesn't. Exactly. Because now you've been shown that he just doesn't care if about you. If this guy so never gets back to you, he doesn't get back to you. Then why? My question is this why would you want to be texting someone? Which you run the risk of doing so long as there's number in there in your phone book for you to see who wouldn't text you. If you delete his number and you never again hear from him, then why would you want to text someone like that? Why would you exactly. want to be in, why would you want someone like that in your life where you can delete their number and they don't, why they don't care? They don't care. They, they don't even care. They don't even you realise you're not being texting. Exactly. Them. They've forgotten you. So never Do you go want to be with someone ne- who's who forgotten can you. Forget you just like that. Exactly. You so, can't forget them, but they can, can forget, forget you. you. Like you just need to know your worth. And it's not even in a big-headed way. You just need to know that I'm worth someone liking me as much as I like them. I don't think that's too much to ask. Mm. But anyway, should we go on to our next point? Yeah. My, this kind of leads on to the next point, actually. I actually think we should talk about the most effort one now. Because I can yeah, tell yeah. about carbon fiber. Right, okay. Um, so, never, never, ever be involved with someone if you're having to put in most of the effort, particularly for girls, Okay. You should not have to... You know, a lot of guys, no, they like to make is. excuses. Like, he okay, so he tells you he's really bad with texting. But if he really liked you, then he would he would make an effort to be good with texting. Like, you can't forever make excuses for people. If you're having to, put, if you're having to arrange the dates, if you're having to, like, call course, him, like, when am I going to see? If you're having to call him, if you're always having to text him, if you're always the one sort of keeping the conversation going and he's just giving you one-word answers, if you're basically just giving your all and he just seems like he's not bothered either way... Do not even waste your time going there. Because this is the case with so many girls where they're the ones forcing it and the guy generally doesn't give a shit. Let me tell you something. If a guy really cares, he will... If a guy just cares, even, he will put most of the effort in because that's the way things naturally go. The mm, guy, you know, the beginning. chasing yep. the girl. If you're chasing him... Human nature. This relationship is already not going to last. Yeah. it started. Because it's usually us girls, we wind up more... <laughs> no, 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 literally. Us girls, we wind up more invested anyway than yeah. the guy. It's just... Literally, how many girls watching this video or women watching this video have been involved with a guy where, yeah. at the beginning, you weren't even that keen. He was the one chasing you. Mm-hmm. By the time two of you go your separate ways, for whatever reason, you realise, actually, I think I like him a bit more. How many times, how many women watching this video can relate to that? So that is just proof. All of you, right? That a lot of, exactly. So that just, is just proof that a lot of the time, it will be the girl who winds up a bit more invested. If, at the beginning, you are the one calling him first all the time. You are the one texting him first all the time. You are the one um, suggesting meetups all the time. A year down the line, he probably won't even have you saved in his phone book anymore. Basically, do not keep anyone in your life who acts like you don't have to be in theirs. Exactly. Don't keep anyone in your life who acts like they wouldn't need you in exactly. theirs. At the end of the day, I'm not going to force it with someone. Like, if it's just like with friendships, actually. After a while, you'd lose interest. You'd be like, hey, this is quite embarrassing and quite desperate that they clearly just don't care that much about this friendship. So why is it different when with it comes guy. to a guy? It's not different. Don't sell yourself short. Mm. At the end of the day, there's so many people out there. And the thing is, actually, the thing is, and I, I'm guilty of doing this myself, a lot of girls, it's sort of the thrill of, oh, when he doesn't want me, now I want him. It's a, it's the fact that this guy won't text you and that that's the excitement for you. Like, we want what's not available. Yeah. Everybody wants what they can't have. Mm. Yeah. So don't, ha- don't be the one putting in all the effort because really, it's like I feel like a it's human thing. nature to take advantage and I feel like guys do that a lot like mm. not even try to come across as sexist so don't be the don't one be who's going to get position. taken advantage of the one who's going to get hurt the one who's going to get made a fool out of yeah don't be that you guy know? if a guy likes happen. you he will make it happen when a guy likes you he will make it happen if he doesn't make it happen he might like you but he doesn't like you enough and do you want to be with someone who doesn't like you enough to make it happen no right. N-O spells and moving on no. that's it right okay so, another sign that you should stay the hell away from a guy is a guy who is showing aggression 
when you're just seeing him within the first few dates, whatever, you know? So maybe, I don't know, maybe you and the guy happen to get in, not that you really should be in the first few dates, but you happen to get into a little disagreement and, you know, Again, I've in the restaurant story. and then, you know, he's, you know, part of us, he's slamming the table mm. or whatnot. It's like, why are you showing me anger? So that table you're slamming is supposed to be me? That's the aggression you're holding <laughs> for me? Like, what? Yeah, exactly. So I remember being on a second date with this guy and, you know, not going to say who, obviously, not going to name names, just like I didn't name names with the other guy. Um, but with the other guy, as I mentioned, we got into a slight disagreement um, because I was I had a lot of things on my mind and him and I were really comfortable anyway. So it wasn't a thing where I wasn't engaging over TGI Fridays, but it was just a thing where whenever there was a natural lull in conversation, I would be eating my food and I'd be, I must have looked a million miles away. And that wasn't intentional just because I had so many things in my mind. So when there was a natural lull in the conversation, i.e. space for me to think about things, my mind was going to all these things I was worried about. So I must have looked worried and far away, lost in thought. Now, he kept, he was, he asked me a good few times, like, what's up, what's up? And I was like, it's not that I don't want to tell you. It's just, if I tell you in this restaurant, I risk getting emotional, making this awkward for the two of us, one, because, you know, firstly, because we don't know each other that well, and I want to start crying in the middle of the restaurant, you know yeah. what I mean? So I was like, if I tell you, it will be later on. He was like, oh, I find that a bit rude of you. And I was like, well, you yeah, don't take it the wrong exactly. way or anything. But, you know, it, whether it was a sibling sat here with me right now, or a friend, or a best friend, or a close friend, I would say the exact same thing there's a time and a place exactly. and then um uh I, and then i was saying i was like you know what so and so you know for someone who's so honest and so upfront you know you know you're awfully awfully sensitive and he was like no no i'm not sensitive i was like well to be honest with you like uh, the the few people who i've told about certain things you've said and done leading up to this point have side is incredibly insensitive and i didn't see what they meant fully but but now i do now it wasn't what he said next it was what he did he bangs the table yeah, he bangs the table and the people look over and he goes, Michelle, he's pointing and he's shouting at me and the gruff tone. I told you, don't fucking, <laughs> he was like, I told you, don't fucking out. discuss with your friends, all right? Did he say? Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah. I didn't even get. Yeah, yeah, he swore. Listen. He told you not to discuss with your friends? Yeah, he's like, I told you, don't fucking discuss with your friends, all right? Now, okay, let me, let me tell you the three wow. things. Remember. It's not what, he, it's not what he said. Okay, but first of all, he's banged the table, so he's showing aggression. That's threatening behaviour. He'd point at me, which again goes with the intimidating behaviour. I'm, I'm not your dog. Don't point at me. Yeah, and then to swear at me. And this is day number two. Discuss with your friends. Day number two. And telling me as well, as in I told you not to. Like, what? I'm sorry, I'm... Dad. <laughs> you dare think you can speak to me like that. Mm -hmm. There wasn't what he said. If it'd been like, Michelle, you know, I told you, I thought I told you already. Please, I don't like it when you know what I mean like there's a way of, it's not what he said it's, it's not way, it's not way so out of exactly communicating exactly it's there's a way from, it's not so outlandish aggressive behavior definitely it's and not that so... to me shows some signs of someone who could get abused exactly so yeah five signs again you should say the hell away from a guy yep um someone who fancies you rather than actually likes you Someone who's trying to move you while seeing other people because they don't care enough about you when you're Cat having fishes. to make all the effort. Catfishes and uh, having to put in the most effort. Aggressive signs. Yeah, and aggression. So, yeah, that's our video. Thank you everyone for, for watching. watching. Hope you, Hope enjoyed, you enjoid enjoyed it. Comment it. and let us know what you think. Comment, let us, let know, us know, you know your own experiences. Exactly. Whatever. You can find us on Twitter. Harmony with three Y's, X O, and. And Michelle O Faith. Uh, that's a double L E O, no hype, no apostrophe. People always think like I'm not Irish, no apostrophe. O and then F A I T H, Michelle O'Faith. Yeah, so thanks. One, so Michelle O'Faith one, the number Is one. Again, God. Michelle. Yeah, Faith. Michelle O'Faith one. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.